we started recording the CD about six months ago. We had a few run-ins with a lot of things. Real unfortunate, real bummer, but things have been picking up. Six months later, we're wrapping up vocals right now. I'm not sure when the CD's gonna be out, but it's gonna rule. Still got those raw elements. It's catchy. Personally, I feel like it's anything and everything you want out of a CD. For this album, I I wanted to bring a lot more like quote unquote riffs to the table versus um, just like verse chorus breakdown kind of stuff. And I wanted it to just be like every riff have its own kind of mind per se. And so if someone asked me what this album sounded like, I would say that it's more uh, riffy and it's, um, it's kind of built to be easy to headbang to, I guess. Because that's what I like and that's what we like to do. So that's how we kind of looked at it. I did drum line in high school and I just kind of worked my way up and just played in different bands. Some really gay bands, some pretty sweet bands. And now I'm in this band and we're just doing our thing. So that's basically how everything got going. We're in the studio, uh, recording for like the first one. Uh, there's no title for it yet, and we, don't, we have no idea what it's going to be now. So we're working on that. We just started to finish drums and check the guitar right now, and taking some badass music. I like him. I'm recording Endeavors right now. I've been doing this for about 12 years now. 27. Um, first thing I want to run through with, I'm using a Cubase 7, or a 6.5. We live tracked everything, including guitar amps, going to vocals, and then we don't really like MIDI vocals. It's kind of one of the impossible features at this point. I'm trying that out on Cody, but no. Um, we did drums, we did bass, we got all that taken care of. It's been going good so far. Last CD I wrote was really more about me focusing my energy towards the way other people made me feel. Whereas this CD has turned inward a lot. I'm focusing my energy more about how I make myself feel and um, the things I do and the actions I take and the reasons I do that. I started a long, a long time ago. Really started with me and Ben and a couple other kids playing together. We grew and we grew. We broke and Cody along the way. We met him up and we finally we brought our buddy Brock. Our buddy Brock came from Sign the Escape and Deadlight into the mix and now the archetype is complete. There's a few surprises. Um, there's a couple of parts that are stuff that we've never done before and that I wasn't sure about writing and stuff, but. I think it's cool and that that's what happens to bands is that they grow and change and you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but we are trying and so that's kind of about it. It's 10 total, there's one instrumental, it's like bands are masterpiece. The music on the last CD was, I feel pretty mature for the time when we came out with it, but I feel like since then we've grown a lot. We found new things, we found new musical influences, the things we were listening to when we were young we were no longer listening to. The events in our life that have taken place since then have sculpted us as musicians and as people. And that's why this music will sound different. Some people might not be excited on it, while I know a lot of other people will. With time comes change. With change comes progress, so that's awesome. When I'm playing, I don't really think about a whole lot. 
because all I think about is the music and the, what it's doing to me. I completely lose myself. I don't know who I am, and it's beautiful. I just get lost in the music. Some things that might set us aside from other bands is I feel like our raw honesty. Like I feel like there's an underlying passion within what we do. We might, to you, you might think we sound like everyone else, but to me, I know every word I'm writing is from my heart, and I know every riff that Ben wrote, like he meant. And he, like, he'll always mean he can stand by that. When I play a show, I like to connect with the audience. I like to let them know I'm there, but it's not, it's not only for them, it's for me to feel alive. I want everyone who's at our show to feel alive and feel real and feel at home. Whether you're screaming, moshing, standing on the side, I want you to feel like you belong there. I want to welcome you with open arms. I might not seem like that kind of person, but those are my true intentions. This means the world does.